that Ken Cinema's fate has been in limbo since Landmark Theaters vacated the building in March of 2020, just as the pandemic hit. Then, just before Christmas, I received news that was certainly a lump of coal in my stocking. The Ken, which first opened in 1946, had been sold and would no longer be a theater. Here's what Randy Collender Hawk, a member of the family that sold the Ken, said today in a Facebook message. This is a decision amongst the family. The new owner is working to maintain the visual appeal to blend in with the integrity and character of the neighborhood. We will all miss the Ken and what my grandfather created out of love for film. Her grandfather was Robert Birkin. He had a business card boasting that the Ken was San Diego's only exclusive foreign and art cinema. He was ahead of his time and gifted San Diego with a place to watch films as a community. Ethan Vontilo is executive director of the Media Arts Center. He toured the cinema last August in order to make a bid on the building. Again, I was surprised because I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually the seats are still there. You know, the screen is still there. I actually got excited and I was like, oh, we could turn this around pretty quickly. But the cost was too high and a single screen movie theater like the Ken just did not seem viable even with pandemic restrictions lifting. Fontilo recalled what the Ken meant to him when he came to San Diego 30 years ago. It was that space where you could, you know, get their calendar and check out all the independent films and foreign films. Losing that opportunity to see great independent cinema in a, a public space, a community space, where you can watch the movie and then afterwards you talk about the movie. Again, very sad day for San Diego to lose such a iconic cinema. Stephen Russell was Ken Cinema house manager in the 1980s. You could just on a whim say, let's just go to the Ken. Let's see what's playing. You wouldn't know what it was, but you could trust the curatorial voice, right, of the people who were programming it. And you could have wonderful surprises. And so the thing about the Ken is there's something mysterious that you just knew that something special could be happening there. And so that's lost. Back in the 80s, before the internet and social media, the Ken could be a place to bring communities together just by showing a film. Maybe it was an Ethiopian film, maybe it was a Jewish community film, maybe it was the peace community, maybe it was French films. And when we would play a film like that, we would reach out to people and for that night, for one night in that place, that was their village. But the power of being in a room with 100, 200, 300 people who were of a, of, a, of, a, of a mind, a heart, a community, that's lost. That's, that's what's heartbreaking when we lose that. The loss of such a cinematic treasure during the streaming age is also a sad sign of changing times. Thanks for watching. I'm Beth Accomando, KPBS arts and culture reporter, and I cover everything from live theater to film reviews. So please subscribe and check out the playlist. And thanks.